Welcome back, yogis. So we have got a really fun topic to cover today because I've been getting so many questions about this on Instagram of what is my morning manifesto. So I want to share this with you because I I do this weird thing every morning where I listen to my pre-recorded voice talking to myself about my future life. I talk about my wealth, my my health, my mindset, my body, wellness. Like literally I cover so much in this 15 minute recording and I listen to it every single morning. I also have it written down. I print it out. I'm going to walk you through exactly what I do because the reason being is I learned a few years ago that we only have access to 5% of our brain on any given day, our conscious mind. And most of the time, our subconscious, which is running 95% of the show, is the thing that is working. And this is where we are on autopilot. So if you look at yourself this morning and just kind of imagine how you woke up, most likely you got out of your bed on the same side of the bed you always do. You walk into the bathroom, you brush your teeth the same way you always brush your teeth. Maybe it's left side to right side, whatever. And you go out, you make your coffee, you, you know, whatever you do in your morning routine, this is autopilot, right? Your brain is like, we've done this before. We're doing it again. We could do this in our sleep, like with our eyes closed. And that's how we move through our life. (laughs) And in order to change, in order to do something new, like grow a business to six figures, to put ourselves out there on social media, to sign up to work with a coach, we have to access the 5% that we have available. Like, isn't it crazy how our brains work? So the 5% of your brain is what's listening, right? This is the part that's taking action. This is the part that you can create new with. You can start a workout program, right? From beginning to end. But this is the hardest part is to stay within that 5% of your brain. So this is why I wake up every single morning and I listen to my 15 minutes to reprogram my subconscious because I want this programming to go deep into my 95%. You following me? All right, so what I want to walk you through is how I do this, what I do, and the things that I touch on because I think once you're Once you've gone through this podcast episode with me, you're probably going to be really lit up to do this for yourself too. Now, you can do this one of two ways. Are you the kind of person who likes to read? Well, I would definitely type this out on your computer and print it off and then keep it by your bedside. And before you even put your feet on the ground, I want you to read this beginning to end. If you're more of an auditory person like me or you have a newborn at home like me, um, I like putting in my headphones and, you know, when I'm feeding him, I can listen to my 15 minutes to really kickstart my morning. So there's a reason why I call this the manifesto is because I do this right away in the morning and it's my manifesto to life. The way that I move through life, I want to be reminded of who I'm becoming, right? Right. Because it's been said that you, us, me, we in this moment are holograms of our past. And in order to change, we have to reprogram our minds. So the first part of your morning manifesto is to get clear on who the character of you is. So have you, do you have certain quirks or things that you're notoriously, notoriously known for, like maybe you're always late and it frustrates you. You're like, gosh, why am I always late? I'm late for everything. And everyone's like, you're late, you're late, you're late. Right? So you can change the character of you at any point. You don't have to agree with the rules that you've set out for yourself and you don't have to argue for your limitations either. So you can rewire the character of you. So what I do, and I've got, let's see, my gosh, there's like 20 here, (laughs) but the character of Shauna, a character of me, is I I write in words that empower me. So first I start by picking words that I want to feel in the morning. So my first word is energized. So I go through first, I want you to pick up some words. So here's a couple of the words that I've used, energized, nourished. Um, fit, grounded, magnetic, present, free-spirited, playful, relentless, driven, wealthy, genius, spiritual, confident, okay? So these are words that I want to, when people think of me, that's the character of me. 
Now next to each one of these words, I've written out exactly how I want to use that energy, right? So let's use the word energized. And I put in here, Shauna wakes up when her body wants with no alarm clock, immediately meditates and reads her morning manifesto. Okay, so that's energized. Nourish, Shauna takes great care of her body by listening and nourishing it with exactly what it needs. Healthy, Shauna has an incredible fit, energized body and wakes up refreshed each and every day. Grounded, Shauna never panics. Uh, she makes clear and thoughtful decisions instantly. Magnetic, Shauna naturally draws in ideal clients with absolute ease. They find her, they reach out to her, and her mantra, they lead themselves to me. So as you can see here, I'm programming my mind. We've just covered energized, we've covered nourished, fitness, grounded, magnetic. You can literally pick any word that you want to describe the character of you and write it out as if you are observing yourself. So notice how I've used my name to say who I am. It's almost like looking at yourself from the outside. Okay. So that's the first piece that is about the character of you and rewriting who your who your the character of you is. Then I go into my beliefs. This is where I program my belief system. And as an entrepreneur, <laughs> yogipreneur, um, this is really important, right? Because some days you might feel like a pile of poo and other days you might feel really, really good. So this, in it, honestly, look at your cycle too. So when we look at your belief system, this is really important to condition yourself for in those moments that are maybe not so easy um, or you're, you're just feeling more challenged just to look at your belief system. So for example, I start out with I am statements, okay? So, for, so the very first one is I am enough. And then I have I am healthy. I am a gift. I am a genius. I am a self-starter and so on and so forth down the list here. So I just start with I am statements. Then I go in and I fill it out even further. So under my belief number one, I am enough. And I have written, I am smart, helpful, and worthy of taking up anybody's time. Knowing I am good enough makes me feel comfortable, confident, and authentic. Number two, I am healthy. Each day I wake up feeling safe and secure in my body. I have incredible energy. I feel glowing. So you go through these and you just elaborate further on your beliefs. And this is a really great way to, again, get into your subconscious mind. Moving on, I also snap photos of who my current role models are, and this changes. Um, usually once a year, I'll go in and I'll just say, these are my current role models, um, and I can, anytime I can go peek on their social media, I can see what they're up to, I can tap into their energy. A lot of times they're coaches that I'm working with too, and there's a reason why they're my role models. So I just snap some photos so I can see, you know, who are the people that are leading me as well as me leading myself. And I will um, put them on this page. Next, I write a note from myself a year into the future. So I read a note from me a year into the future saying what it's like. What is my health like? What is my mindset like? What is my business like? What are my relationships like? Um, and I go into great detail. So I write out entirely where I want to be living, how I want to be feeling, the relationships that I have. So do this for yourself. Like what would you want to hear from yourself in the future? And I write out an entire page here on exactly what's coming, right? And so I can get really excited and that energy of excitement just it just jet sets my entire day. Lastly, I go into my visions. And so I break these down into, we've got four different pillars here. So pillar number one is I share from the future, again, what my business and career goals are. So you can write these down right now, one through four. What are your business and career goals a year from now? And I want you to write it as if it's already happened. So, you know, if you're looking to have a million dollar year, um, I have Shauna earns 1.5 million. Um, Shauna earned 1.5 million in the last year. So I have that written right up here underneath my business and career goals. So I can see, oh, that's where I'm going. That's the business, right? So we move on to number two, health and fitness goals. How do you want to feel and look, right? How do you want to feel and look a year from now? And talk to yourself as if you're already there. 
you know, long hair, short hair, toned, like how, how do you want to feel in your body? What do you, what clothing do you wear? Uh, number three, relationships. What are your relationship goals? What are your lifestyle goals? What does it feel like where you are? Are you traveling? Uh, where is your office set up? Is it just primarily through your phone? Is it your laptop? Like, what does your office space feel like when you are working? Uh, what does your home feel like? What does being on the road feel like? Like, what do you want your relationship or your lifestyle to look like? And what do you want your relationships to feel like? You know, are you surrounded by other couples? Are you, you know, single and you're looking to find your, your love? Like, what does this look like from you, for you in the future? And then lastly, uh, your persona and behavior. You know, what do you really want to be known for, right? That ultimate character like we talked about before. What do you want to be known for? Um, are you free-spirited? Do you want people to be to know you for your adventurous, your adventure, uh, for the results that you give your clients, um, your energy? What do you want to be known for? You know, really start to focus on what this looks like in your life. And then I put together a vision of what I what I want my world to look like. I have my future house on this last page, right? Almost like a vision board. I have uh, my house snippet on here. I've got myself playing guitar and my husband and I um, at five star luxurious vacations together. I have my new vehicle on here, um, toned body, all these beautiful things. And I have a picture of a galaxy on here as well, because I'm super excited to buy a telescope and to look at the stars at night and just remember how, how small we are in the big grand scheme of things. So, uh, that is how I program my mind each and every morning. I talk to myself from the future. I get deep, deep, deep into my subconscious programming through looking at my, my belief system through, really resetting the character of myself because I am just the avatar, right? I'm the avatar of my thoughts. And so are you. I look at my gurus and I also look at where I'm going and it gets me charged up. It's so much better than a cup of mushroom coffee. <laughs> uh, it literally is like a jetpack for your soul. So I hope that you do this today. I hope that you make your own version of a manifesto and um, reprogram your mind for success because you are the architect of your life. You get to be, do, have whatever you want. All right, I will see you in another episode. This was so much fun and I will see you again soon.